Joining us from the U.S. is Dr. Gertie Chemeka, I am okay, an infectious diseases specialist. Uh, she joins us via Skype. Thank you for joining us on the program. Thank you for having me. Good afternoon. All right, Gertie, now the month of July saw nearly 2 million people in the U.S. contract COVID-19. And it is reported that about 180,000 Americans may be dead by the end of the summer. This is worrying statistics. Why is the U.S experiencing this surge? Thank you uh, for that question. The truth of the matter is that there hasn't been like a national strategy in the US um, to properly prepare for COVID-19 and deal with it the way it's supposed to be dealt with by a country. And so um, some of this, I think, may be political. Uh, but that's really the, the crux of the matter, that there is no seemingly national tra strategy to deal with COVID-19 in the U.S. In terms of the, the numbers and perhaps the behavior of young people, uh, seeing as this is a bit about the summer period, um, do you think that the wearing of masks and the other uh, non-pharmaceutical measures are also being adhered to? Well, we all have seen um, videos and reports of young people being out there uh, during the um, uh, July 4th weekend and other uh, periods, uh, not necessarily social distancing or obeying the mask rule. Somehow young people seem to think they are invisible. And I think that that has actually ignited a lot of the newer cases that we have seen all over America. Is there a difference between uh, COVID-19 and the seasonal flu? Yes, there, of course there is a difference. The, the, the seasonal flu, like you said, is seasonal. And it's a virus, but it is the flu virus. The flu virus has been around for so much more longer. We every year give vaccination. Sometimes it's hit and miss. But we know how to at least manage it a little better. And yes, every year we lose thousands of patients um, secondary to the flu, mainly people with comorbidities. When I say comorbidities, I mean like they have other underlying medical disorders and also the elderly. Um, but COVID-19 is a novel virus. Um, we are not that conversant with it. In fact, it's ever-changing in its manifestations and management. So we will need to have a better understanding, a better management, hopefully have vaccines, hopefully prophylaxis, prevention, and even treatment strategies to be able to be confident in managing COVID-19 the way we are doing with the influenza virus. Also, Influenza virus, um, I think, in my personal opinion, just the way that COVID-19 um, is transmitted, it seems to be much more widely than the influenza virus. Now, remember that the influenza virus is usually droplets precautions. Uh, COVID-19 is seemingly airborne to some extent. So that's a big difference. Uh, so when you say airborne, it means just somebody walking into your space within maybe one meter, they can get the virus in the air and it can infect them, even without coming in contact with you directly. And that's one of the reasons why we ask people to wear masks. So yes, man, there is a big difference between COVID-19 and influenza virus. All right, we'd like to thank you so much, Dr. Gerti Chemekanyam, okay, infectious disease specialist, uh, joining us from Baton Rouge, Louisiana in the US. Thank you for joining us on the program. Thank you for having me.